Hi friends, we have a number of frameworks for creating and orchestrating AI agents. Here we have the top 5 open source agent frameworks. Langgraph from Langchain, Autogen from Microsoft, Crew AI, Phidata is recently rebranded as Agno and Small Agents from Hugging Face. Now in terms of learning curve, Langgraph is the hardest one and then Crew AI, Phidata, Small Agents, these three we can bucket them into the easiest ones. Autogen sits somewhere in between. Now the reason why Langchain has a steep learning curve is within Langgraph we create agents as nodes and edges whereas in other frameworks the agent is the smallest unit where we directly create uh, uh, agents by simply providing an LLM and supplying uh, a bunch of tools. Right? And among all these frameworks, Langgraph offer the finest uh, control and it also requires some graph workflow expertise in order to create multi-agentic systems. What Langgraph has done last week is they released some new capabilities using which we can create these hierarchical or multi-agent systems as easily as we do in these three frameworks. All right. So the concept is simple. We have a supervisor agent to which we give a task and the workflow stop with the supervisor agent okay and in between the supervisor agent it can have multiple agents for example in this case only two agents one is maths and the other one is search agent right so we give a task to the supervisor agent now supervisor agent it hand off the task to an appropriate agent depending on the task for example let's say we give a research problem which requires some math so first the supervisor agent assign the task to the research agent the research agent goes back to the supervisor agent with its finding and then the supervisor agent assign the task with the findings from search agent to the math agent so the math agent does its job and finally return the results back to the supervisor agent that's when the workflow stops okay so the supervisor agent it assign the task to one of the agents the agent each agent has obviously its own LLM and a set of tools to carry its task once they've done their task they assign the output back to the supervisor agent. Now the supervisor agent decide if it need, if the task is completed or if it need to assign the task to some other agent, etc. So we'll see an example of it. All right. Uh, so Langgraph, uh, within pre-built, uh, we have these React agent. Uh, now there are two ways to create uh, agents in Langgraph, right? One is this pre-built, which is uh, the higher level one, whereas the second one, uh, which is the more common one, is uh, using um, uh, the nodes and edges concepts okay so even for creating agent we will be using higher level concepts and for creating hierarchical or multiple agents we will be create we will be using uh, this uh, create supervisory so we are making it easier by using two concepts one a higher level agent framework and a higher level multi-agent frameworks okay all right we need an LLM uh, so let's use uh, the GPT-40 now each agent can have a different LLM but let's uh, use the same LLM all right and then let's define so this is just for the demo uh, to show or learn how things work so let's create a, a very bunch uh, very simple uh, tools so here we have add function a multiply function a bunch of uh, mathematical tools let's say and then here we have a web search uh, tool now if you notice we are not we are not really doing any web search given a search query it always return this static uh, information. So let's just pretend that we are actually doing the web search. Uh, 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 to keep it simple, we are passing a static information. Okay, but it doesn't matter. We could have used uh, 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 some API uh, to collect uh, this information. Okay, all right. So as I mentioned, we will be using this pre-built agents uh, to make it easy to build each agent. Okay, so let's create a React agent. So here we have this math agent an LLM and we provide a bunch of mathematical tools like add and multiply okay we give it a name uh, we describe uh, what it does okay similarly we create a research agent LLM a tool web search tool and what it does okay so we have created two agents okay which are independent of uh, each other using this high level uh, create agent framework and then now we create a supervisor agent okay so which is what uh, the new feature is okay uh, from uh, Langgraph uh, supervisors all right so let's create this supervisor now supervisor will have a bunch of agents similar to how 
an agent will have access to a bunch of tools. The supervisor agent will have access to a bunch of agents. So here we have a research agent and a math agent. Now, supervisor agent also need an LLM. All right, uh, we want to see the full history in the output and also describe uh, what the supervisor agent supposed to do. So here we are saying, uh, you are a team supervisor managing a research expert as well as a math expert. So for current events, use the research agent. For math problems, use the math agent, okay? Now, here the research agent and math agent, they do not have any team. They have a bunch of tools, but each agent is on its own. Now we can imagine a scenario where we want to create multi-level hierarchical systems where research agent itself can have a couple of uh, sub-agents. Similarly, math agent can also have a couple of sub-agents, okay? So we can make it as complex and as, uh, as multi-level as needed. All right, so let's compile the workflow and uh, let's visualize it. So here we start, we have the supervisor agent, which has access to two agents, math uh, agent and research agent. Now, if you see the supervisor agent, it will assign the work to one of the two agents. That's why you see these uh, dotted uh, lines, okay? So this is a dotted line, this one is a dotted line because supervisor agent on its own, it can only assign the task to its follower agents, okay? Now, once a task is assigned to either of these two agents, they should provide their response back to the supervisor agent, okay? It's, it's like how uh, things work uh, in a real world. Now, let's say, we gave the supervisor agent a problem which required uh, some research and then some maths. So first the task gets assigned to the research expert and then the research expert provide the results back to the supervisor. Then the supervisor is, uh, agent assign the task to the math expert along with the results from or the feedback from the research uh, expert and the math expert completes his job, provide the results back to the supervisor agent which complete the task, okay? Which is exactly what we are going to see here. So let's invoke the app with a user message What's the combined headcount of FANG companies in 2024? So first, we need to know what the headcount of each FANG company. And even before that, we need to know which or what are the FANG companies. Step number one. Step number two, what is the headcount of each FANG company? And in step number three, we need to add all of those results, right? So for step one and step two, we need to do some web search. For step three, we will use some maths agent to do the uh, sum okay all right now for the research agent uh, as i mentioned just to uh, keep uh, things simple we are not really doing any web search which involves step one and two which are finding out which are the fan companies and finding out what is headcount of each company in 2024 instead we have the results ready so whenever the research agent uses this web search tool we have that information readily available okay now let's see what happened so we invoke the agent now let's look at all the steps involved so there are a bunch of hands ha, ha, handouts are uh, uh, the communication between these three different agents let's uh, see if it's as uh, how we would imagine okay so we start with what is the combined headcount of fan companies in 2024 now so the supervisor agent it successfully transferred to the research expert okay now the research agent go and complete step one and two uh, it's a bit not clear why this information uh, is printed five times uh, but here we have the five fan companies and the headcount of each company from the research agent, okay? And once the research agent does its job, you can see here, transferring back to the supervisor, okay? So, research agent does the research and transfer it back to the supervisor. Now, let's see what the supervisor does, okay? Successfully transferred back to the supervisor, cool. And then, the supervisor agent successfully transferred it to math agent okay so once the supervisor agent received the results from research agent it transfer or hand over the call to the hand over the task to the math expert or math agent okay now it's interesting if you look at our math expert it takes only two variables and sum them right this tool add tool whereas here we have five fan companies okay one two three four five right so what it did is once all this piece of information is handed to the supervisor uh, what happened is, so it took all these five numbers, but it realized it can add only two numbers at a time. So what it did is, it first added this Facebook and Amazon account, okay? So it's over, uh, this is 67,000, this is uh, one uh, over 1 1.5 million, that looks right, yeah. Uh, it probably include AWS plus Amazon, the whole of Amazon headcount, uh, uh, including the delivery, etc. So it added these two numbers, okay, which is this result, 
and then it added these two numbers apple and netflix which is this number and this number uh, remain as it is okay and then now we have three numbers but again we can do only the sum of two numbers at a time so it added these two numbers the result of which is this and then it kept this as it is and finally we have only two numbers to add the sum of these two numbers added up to with this one so the math agent does all this and then it find out that these are the total number of employees of all five fan companies in 2024 and then it transfer back to the supervisor agent okay and successfully transferred back to the supervisor and finally here is the final response from the supervisor so if you look at the final message uh, uh, which is this last message so this is the final response okay so as you can see uh, here uh, uh, the the handoff between the agents is exactly how we have uh, envisioned for this particular uh, research problem, right? All right. So as I mentioned, uh, these agents, they can be teams themselves. They don't have to be a single agent, but this can be an expert of math agents, right? A bunch of math agents, uh, a bunch of search agents. Now let's imagine a scenario. We want to search uh, some information uh, via the web, via our local document, and we want to create a content piece. Uh, we want to review the piece, etc., etc. So, so we have. A web search tool uh, which takes a query and does the web search and then we have a doc search uh, which takes uh, the path to a, a local file and search for some information within the doc and we have a web search agent we have a doc search agent okay using these two agents here we are creating a research team as you can see here this is a supervisor okay so this supervisor has two agents web search agent and doc search agent okay and similarly uh, we have a create team or create agent uh, which is also a supervisor agent which has access to two agents the writing agent and the reviewing agent so here we have writing agent and reviewing agent so we have four agents at the lowest level okay web search doc search writing and reviewing we have four agents at the very bottom and the two agents web search and doc search those are under the research team slash agent the writing agent and reviewing agent those two agents are under this creating team slash agent okay so in the third level we have four agents in the second level we have two agents and finally at the very top we have this top level supervisor agent which has two agent teams okay the research team which itself has two agents the creating team which itself has another two agents okay so we assign the task to the top level supervisor the supervisor will decide if the task should be assigned to a research team or a creating team. Now the research team, once this supervisor received, it will assign the task, depending on if it needs to do a web search or local doc search to the two agents in the third level. Okay. Now the diagram, uh, it's not showing the lowest level, uh, 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 but the creating team has two agents, uh, the create as well as review, uh, write as well as review. And the research team also has two agents, web search as well as local search. So with this simple concept, creating supervisor, we can create these multi-level, uh, very hierarchical, uh, complex uh, agent workflows and uh, orchestration. That's all for this video. Uh, if you find this content useful, uh, please consider like, share and subscribe. Uh, thank you very much for your support.